you know what part of the population is in America is really underrepresented in government? Bankers. At least that is the opinion of the American Bankers Association, which... Okay, I'll rant about this in just a second, because if I do it after I read the article, it might make a little more sense. So, I'll read you this bit of the article. This is from CNN Money, uh, link in the description, as always. Bankers who want to run for office are in luck. A powerful lobbying group has launched a training camp designed to help bankers become politicians. Shit you not. The American Bankers Association, or the ABA, started taking applications on Tuesday for its first ever candidate school. The pilot program is open to any banker who wants to run for state or federal office. The biggest bank lobbying group described it as a comprehensive two-day program that will take place naturally in Washington, D.C. Oh, well, naturally. I mean, you gotta, if, you, if you want to be part of the system, you've got to be at the heart of corruption itself. Anyway, continuing on. The ABA promised the candidate school will help bankers turn politicians learn how to get out the vote, conduct research, fill out paperwork, and, of course, raise money. But not at just anyone can apply. I mean, good God, we have to have some standards. You want some schmuck off the street that actually gives a shit about the voters? <laughs> Fuck them. That was added, by the way. That's not in the article. Uh, not just anyone, but not just anyone can apply. This political training camp is only open to bankers and bank directors who have concrete plans to run for state or federal office in the next two election cycles. Candidates for school boards and town council need not apply. So why is the ABA trying to recruit politicians from, with its own, from within its own ranks to help shape banking legislation, of course? I'm going to kind of paraphrase some of the rest of this. The ABA described it as part of its efforts to promote a pro-growth policy environment. When it's time to set banking and economic policy, we strongly believe nothing beats real-world banking experience. ABA President and CEO Rob Nichols said in a statement, In other words, bankers elected to Congress could help efforts to dial back regulation that, industry, uh, that the industry finds burdensome, such as parts of Dodd-Frank and others. The ABA noted that only 18 of the 535 members of Congress have a banking background. Yeah, because, you know, why not just go full-on, balls-out, corrupt here? I mean, my God, like, you know what, Go government corruption used to be a gentleman's game, you know? It's like, yeah, you are on the take. Yeah, you were basically your donor's bitch. But you at least hid it a little bit. You at least didn't publicly display that you were pulling for big business or big banks or something like that and, you know, to hell with the people who actually voted for you. You know, you, I mean, sure, that's what was going on, but come on, you had a little fucking dignity and you kind of kept it under wraps. But, oh, not anymore. Fuck it. Let's just train the damn bankers to do it themselves. I mean, hell, we've already got Donald the Cheeto Trump appointing Goldman Sachs to uh, goons to run just about anything to do with banking and finance in, this, in the administration. Let, next election cycle, let's just cut out the middleman and elect the fucking bankers themselves. I mean, this is absolute horseshit. That this is, I mean... This is one of those things. It's like why one of the things like I, reasons I get pissed at, about things like like mainstream media and CN, you know, CNN, Fox. Well, Fox doesn't count, but MSNBC, so on and so forth. You know, what are they covering? They're covering things like like oh, you know, Rachel Maddow did what like a thirty minute some odd episode on one page, like the first page of friggin' Donald Trump's tax returns. Yet at the same time, you have these like bank lobbying groups that are setting up training camps to try to get 
bankers elected to, to office so they can, you know, strip out what little banking rec- uh, regulation we have and sink the fucking economy. Just like they did in, just like they did last time. But this time it'll be, sorry, it'll be even easier for them to get some nice fat, like, stimulus money and, and, and be able to pay bonuses all around because the fucking bankers are going to be the ones in charge of the government. This is just absolute, just... This level of uh, openly tr- openly going for, making openly making a move for on something this inherently corrupt and this this that's so shitty as this is just I mean it's just like a whole new level and that is one like, like let's make sure the like, ABA all right make a note of that American Bankers Association when it comes next time when the midterms come around when 2020 comes around make sure to look up look on open secrets look wherever you can and find out who's funding these candidates that are running because this is something, this shit here, this is like, this should be like a black ball kind of offense. If you have any connection with this group, like if you were like a, a banker who was put through fucking candidate school by the bank lobby, they, they someone like that has no, absolutely no place in our political system, period. At all. And that is something I, I I hope like America, and like I hope the the people of this country being hyper aware of what's going on in politics. I hope that continues, because it's going to be needed when these when assholes like this are actually trying to to just make an open, just unashamed, open run at our at our government. It's is absolutely. It's is infuriating, you know. Just the fact that this would even be uh, uh, considered, like uh, the the idea. Also, too, I said the the idea. Of this. I don't know if I finished that thought honestly about covering Trump's tax returns, but yeah, they cover something like that. It's it's got no substance to it, or they have friggin', you know, ex Clinton campaign schmucks come on and 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 explain how they somehow have the answer to win. When they just got done having their asses handed to them, you know they'll cover that. They'll cover some bullshit Trump speech all the time, but they won't cover this shit. This should be pla- This should not be an obscure article that I had, you know, dig up on. on uh, that I had to hear about on Twitter. This should be on like every fucking news network. This is horrific. <sighs> Fuck these people. I mean, seriously. Good God. Just burn in hell. ABA. All right. Well, that concludes this particular rant. Uh, link to this uh, infuriating article will be in the description below. Try not to have an aneurysm when you read it. Uh, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you next time.